Did you know that lobsters are often considered biologically immortal? This might sound like a myth from an ancient mariner, but there's a grain of scientific truth to it. Lobsters possess an extraordinary ability, thanks to a unique enzyme known as telomerase. This enzyme plays a critical role in the maintenance and repair of their DNA, which remarkably allows them to defy the typical aging process that most creatures are bound by. As lobsters grow older, unlike humans and most other animals, their bodies don't seem to deteriorate. In fact, some studies suggest that lobsters may even become more fertile with age. However, it's important to note that while they have this incredible anti-aging mechanism, lobsters aren't truly immortal. They can still fall victim to predators, succumb to diseases, or face environmental challenges that can end their lives. So, while lobsters might not live forever, their anti-aging secret certainly sets them apart in the animal kingdom. Ever wonder why most lobsters are a deep blue-green, yet sometimes they're bright blue or even yellow? Well, let's dive into the colorful world of lobster genetics to find out. The typical blue-green hue seen in most lobsters is due to a cocktail of pigments in their shells. These pigments absorb and reflect light in a way that gives lobsters their common coloration. But here's where it gets interesting. Lobsters can occasionally sport some rather unusual colors. This is all thanks to genetic mutations. A rare blue lobster, for instance, has a genetic anomaly that causes the production of an excessive amount of a particular protein, leading to a brilliant blue shade. Even rarer are the yellow lobsters, which lack certain pigments due to another unique genetic tweak. The rarest of them all, the albino lobster, completely devoid of color, appearing once in every few million. So, catching a glimpse of a brightly colored lobster is akin to finding a needle in a haystack. Imagine tasting your dinner through your feet. Well, lobsters do just that. These fascinating creatures have evolved in a manner that might seem bizarre to us. Lobsters possess taste receptors not on their tongues but on their feet, specifically located on their legs and pincers. You see, when a lobster strolls along the ocean floor, it's not just taking a walk, it's actually tasting its environment. The tiny hairs on their legs are equipped with chemosensory neurons that detect chemicals in the water. This sophisticated system allows them to taste their food by simply walking over it, helping them discern what's edible and what's not without having to actually consume it first. Moreover, this unique ability isn't just about food detection. It plays a critical role in their survival, aiding in locating mates and identifying territories. It's a prime example of how nature tailors solutions to the challenges of survival in the underwater world. Next time you enjoy a seafood dinner, just think. Lobsters taste their world quite differently than we do. Lobsters wield a strength that could rival superheroes, all thanks to their powerful claws. These fascinating sea creatures are equipped with two distinct types of claws that serve different purposes, the crusher and the cutter. Each claw is a marvel of natural engineering, perfectly adapted to the lobster's way of life. The crusher claw, the larger and more muscular of the two, is a force to be reckoned with. It can exert a pressure of up to 100 pounds per square inch. This mighty claw is primarily used to crush the hard shells of crabs, clams, and mussels, which are staples in the lobster diet. Its strength is so immense that it can break through the tough armor of its prey with relative ease. On the other side, the cutter claw, though smaller, is equally important. This claw is sharper and more precise, designed to slice or tear its food. It works in concert with the crusher, preparing the meal for consumption. With such formidable tools, lobsters are well equipped to tackle a variety of prey. Lobsters aren't just solitary sea creatures, they take part in a massive yearly migration. Imagine witnessing a grand procession, not on land, but deep beneath the ocean's surface. Here, lobsters form impressive single file lines each individual following the one ahead, marching across the sandy ocean floor. This migratory march is not a random wander, but a purposeful journey driven by two main goals, breeding and the quest for warmer waters as the seasons change. During the colder months, lobsters move to deeper, warmer parts of the ocean, ensuring their survival and the continuation of their species. This migration can span considerable distances, with lobsters covering several miles in their orderly aquatic parade. What's truly fascinating is how these creatures, often seen as simple sea dwellers, exhibit such complex and coordinated behavior. 
The synchronization in their movement suggests a higher level of social organization and communication than previously attributed to these crustaceans. This orderly underwater march highlights the complex behaviors lobsters exhibit that we are only beginning to understand. Beyond their culinary fame, lobsters play a critical role in marine ecosystems. These intriguing creatures are not just about fine dining, they are essential to maintaining the health of the seafloor. Lobsters feed on dead and decaying matter, effectively cleaning the ocean floor. This not only prevents the accumulation of decaying material, but also aids in the recycling of nutrients, rejuvenating marine habitats. Lobsters also hold a pivotal position in the aquatic food chain. As predators, they help manage populations of smaller organisms, which might otherwise overpopulate and disrupt the ecosystem balance. This predatory role keeps the marine food web in check, ensuring a healthy and diverse oceanic life. But the importance of lobsters extends beyond their role as cleaners and predators. They serve as a vital source of nourishment for a variety of marine species, including fish and larger marine mammals. This makes them crucial in sustaining the complex interdependencies among marine life. Lobsters do more than just grace our plates. They are key players in the health of our oceans. No words, no problem. Lobsters have their unique ways of communication. Imagine a world where conversations happen not through words or gestures, but through scents and sounds emitted by the body. This is the reality for lobsters, fascinating creatures of the sea that utilize a variety of methods to talk to one another. One of the primary ways lobsters communicate is through the release of pheromones. These chemical signals are excreted in their urine, which they spray from nozzles near their eyes to send messages such as readiness to mate or to mark their territory. Additionally, lobsters can create distinct sounds using their legs and claws. By rubbing their limbs together or snapping their claws, they produce noises that can deter predators or attract potential mates. These sounds can be crucial during mating rituals, helping lobsters to locate each other and establish connections without seeing one another in the often murky ocean waters. In the silent underwater world, lobsters still speak volumes. From their potential immortality to their complex social behaviors, lobsters are truly fascinating creatures. In the whirlwind tour we've just enjoyed, we've uncovered some of the most astonishing facets of these marine marvels. Let's take a moment to dive back into the highlights of what makes lobsters a subject of endless curiosity. Imagine an animal that defies the aging process, growing stronger and more fertile with age. That's our first wonder lobsters potential immortality through a process called molting they can rejuvenate their bodies essentially resetting their biological clocks which could theoretically allow them to live indefinitely if not caught or consumed by predators next we explored the enigma of lobsters color typically we picture lobsters with their iconic deep red hue but that's only after they've been cooked in their natural habitat, these creatures can wear a spectrum of colors, from blues and yellows to even bright oranges, all thanks to a protein called crustacianin. This camouflage helps them blend into their rocky seafloor homes, evading predators. Did you know lobsters taste with their feet? Tiny hair-like structures on their legs and claws allow them to sense chemicals in the water, helping them track down food and navigate their underwater world. This sensory adaptation is crucial for survival in the often murky ocean depths. Speaking of survival, the strength of a lobster's claw is legendary. These powerful appendages can clamp down with a force of over 100 pounds per square inch. This strength not only aids in defense, but also in dominating competition for food and territory. Our journey also took us through the fascinating migratory patterns of lobsters, their essential roles in marine ecosystems, and the intriguing ways they communicate. From releasing pheromones to making noises with their claws and antennae. So, whether it's their colorful shells, incredible strength, or their bizarre way of tasting the world, lobsters continue to amaze and intrigue us in more ways than one. As we've seen today, these creatures are not just seafood. They are a spectacular example of nature's ingenuity, ensuring their survival through extraordinary biological, ecological, and behavioral traits.